I'm Patricia Klopfer, one of the horticulture specialists with Syngenta working in Ontario. It's the end of the season and I'm in my favorite crop ginseng just to talk a little bit about what we saw this year. 2021 has given us a run for our money here in Ontario in horticulture crops. I started the season in this crop and it's fitting that I end the season here. In April we saw ginseng and other perennial crops wake up quite early because we had early heat. Then we received multiple frost events. Into May, we didn't receive very much rain at all and we had problems with our herbicide activation and certain crops emerging evenly. In June, the water taps turned back on and they haven't turned off for pretty well the rest of the season. You can see there's still some standing water behind me today. This has led to challenges with disease control. We had some late blight show up. We've had Phytophthora blight. We've also seen all the alternarias and anthracnose diseases that you could imagine. But we've also had problems with bugs. We've seen two spotted spider mite at high levels and stink bugs at high levels, which are hard to control, especially during harvest periods. You can't say this year is going to be a record breaking year for yield. Growers have fought hard to stay ahead of diseases. And I was very thankful we had a tool like Miravis Duo to help these growers stay ahead of leaf diseases that could affect their yield in just one other way aside from what the weather did. In ginseng, Miravis Duo helped us stay ahead of alternaria. And where we did have some alternaria, it helped us to get ahead of that disease and get the leaf tissue growing and photosynthesizing again quickly. We're happy with what Miravis Duo did in ginseng and a lot of the other crops we played with it in this year. And we're looking forward to doing it again next year, hopefully with a little bit less disease pressure.